I don't even know how to make this. Hey make everybody this. and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to teach you how to make the cat move up, down, left and right. It's really easy. Um, I'm going to be doing it the hardest way so you don't look like noobs when you're doing scratch. Okay, so when flag clicked you're from events and then you want to get um, from motion you want to go, sorry not for motion, you want to go into control, you want to get a forever and then you want to get, um, sorry, uh, when you, and then you want to get uh, this if statement, the one that says if then, and you want to put four of them inside of the forever, uh, yeah. so four of them, wait, four of them straight in like that, and then you want to go into sensing, and then you want to get, when uh, key space press, we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna put them in order like this. So in there. Then you wanna change this one to W, not in the like W A and D order. Change that one to W. This one into S, I believe. This one into um, sorry, uh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm going to change this one into D and this one into A. Once you've done so, you want to go into motion and you want to get um, change X by 10 um, and change Y by 10. First, you want to get the change Y. And you want to put it in those two. Then you will get change X and put it in those two. First, you want to change that into a four, and then you want to change this one into minus four. Then you want to change this one into four once again, and this one into minus four. Once you've done so, as you can see, when the flag is clicked. W goes up, S goes down, A goes that way, and D goes that way. So now you have the cat moving these ways. Now congratulations, you're still a noob. Um, okay, so now if you want to do something a little bit, a little bit more complex, like let's say there is uh background yeah let's do that let's add in a, uh, actually no let's add in an animation for the cat when he walks so you want to go into costumes oh there are there already one so if you are using the cat um you just want to leave that one but if you're not you want to click click on this and click duplicate and then change it into a walking animation like it is here like, look at that, it looks like it's skipping. So you want to go into script since this one's already has a costume. I didn't make it, it comes with the program. Okay, so now, um, after you've done your costume, you want to get another when flag... Oh, sorry, no. You want to get a look. You want to go into looks, and you want to click um, next costume. And you want to put that the, the, and there. So now that you've done so, click the flag again, and you see it looks like a weirdo skipping. So to change this to make it look like it's better, I would get a weight, um, one second. Now let's have a look at it. Now as you see, now it's really, really slow. To change this, all you want to do, 0 0.4 seems good for me. That's what I use in my scratch things. 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Still looks kind of slow. 
Let's just have it zero. I guess the website is different to the actual program. Get zero. And zero. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. So now when he does that, they'll keep moving that weird animation. Well, well done. You just made it. You just made your scratch walk all with this little piece of code. Next episode, we'll be teaching you how to make... Um, how to make, how to use broadcasts to make start screens and and uh, like cutscenes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hit file and if it loads. Okay, guys, I might as well end it here. So I'll see you guys next episode. Bye. See ya. Tutorial teacher. Wait, tutorial teacher number two. Do you wanna do you wanna say bye? Where, where is he? No, he's not there. Okay. Uh, see you guys next time. See ya.